Hello, it's me, Dua Lipa, and it's that time of the week once again. Welcome to the Departure Lounge YouTube channel with your host, Tom Whittle, your ticket to the home of the fantastic quiz, Quizness Jet, the brilliant battle of the liveries, and the manic model mania. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight, okay? everybody it feels like it's been a while hello welcome along to quizness jet number 17 here on the departure lounge youtube channel <clears throat> hope you are well uh, welcome along uh so apologies for the slightly late start uh we were waiting on jack uh, until jack messaged after the start time that he's stuck in traffic so we didn't actually need to wait for him uh so that's why we're cracking on with things hope you are well. Uh, let's crack on with the show and get to those in uh, so we can get the uh, quiz off and running. So uh, first up, we know him as the angry jock, but uh, others may know him as Rob Brown. Hi, Rob. How are you? Evening, Trips. How are you doing? Very well. Very well. You good? Oh, good, Paul. All good. Can I complain? Good. Good stuff. So <clears throat> uh, I forget how many appearances now this is for you on the quiz um how do you rate your chances this evening knowing now that the standard bearer of trying to beat jack is now no longer there as long as they don't finish last i think we'll be okay as long yeah. as the changes are grab we should be there or thereabouts as well so yes it's uh it's one of those things where it's like because jack is no longer here you got, don't have someone to beat so it's kind of as long as you don't finish bottom that's uh, that's all that matters <laughs> Or beat Wayne, maybe. Maybe Wayne is the new measuring stick. Who knows? Um, any particular round that you don't want to see this evening? Uh, Zagreb in the last round again, maybe. <laughs> Let me just change that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I think I think you're safe. So it should cool. Be fine. We'll sort it then. Yes. <laughs> play, you, can, uh, you, can, you. you can relax. <laughs> but uh, no, that's fine. I will. Uh, I'll bring you back shortly. But good luck to you. Go. Cool. You know him as the guy who drives or crashes buses, uh, and he'll be doing the same thing this week on a different sim. That's to be decided, uh, discussed a little later. However, he's here to take part in the quiz. It's only Wayne. Hi, hello. Wayne. Hello, hello. Becoming part of the furniture now on the channel. Yeah, seems that way. Yes. I can't, yeah. can't remember why I said that this, but I'm here. <laughs> How are you doing? All right, good, good, good. I have been tipping certain things over on sims today. Quite good. <laughs> discuss that later on yeah. uh, <laughs> but uh but yes uh otherwise um how are you feeling about this evening no um no, i'm gonna jack. i'm gonna dedicate this last place to jack i think <laughs> jack's always like the standard bearer so yeah unfortunately yeah, it's kind I'll of keep, I don't want to miss pass now i thought i'd keep his chair warm <laughs> until next time anyway but uh, that's fine any uh in particular round you don't want to uh to see Everything. Uh, Everything. <laughs> Wrong show for you. <laughs> Probably the drawing round as usual. Mm. Well, we will see. We will see. Uh, but we'll bring you back shortly. Now, uh, next uh, up, we have uh, a returnee who hasn't been on for a while. He's been very, very busy uh, doing his own streams, but we're delighted to welcome him back. It is, of course, 
Nib oh no, I was going to do it that way then, but that's weird. Uh, Nabil is with us. Uh, evening to you. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello, hello. I'm doing very well. Tom, how are you? Yes, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, finally, sort of completely rid of my COVID, so I'm yeah. not feeling the effects as much anymore. Because uh, it's always like the after effect. If people have had it, they know it's like you get rid of it, and then like you still feel the effects afterwards. But now I'm just like it's all gone. So we're all good. Which is yeah. happy days. Uh, good That's weekend good. so far. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Just chilling at home. Pretty much what they're, they're all there to be, I guess, just to, to chill out and everything else. Uh, any yeah. particular round this evening uh, you don't want to see? And is there anybody in particular that you want to beat? Uh, particular rounds? I think uh, I don't want to see the... Oh, I can't remember the name because it's been that long, but I don't want to guess the uh, airlines from different regions. Uh, I hate that one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, um, the final, uh, the final round that we normally do. Yeah, uh, but other than that, uh, I'd like to be first today because last time I left, uh, pretty much towards the end. You, didn't yeah, you did. It. I remember that now. <laughs> and uh, and I was second, so yeah, I think if had I stayed on, uh, who knows? We will see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll bring you back in a second. No worries. Thank you. Uh, joining us as well, a very unhappy West Ham fan. Uh, there were supposed to be three of them. There's only two, but we'll go with one. It's Darren Smith. Hi, Darren. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> Not the top. <laughs> it's Millwall. <laughs> <It's> Millwall. <laughs> Don't say that too loudly. Um, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Not too bad at all. Good. Thought I'd come in and try and see if I could gain a crown, but uh, gain a crown. Lewis is in here and one or two others, so uh, that'll be tough. No, uh, good stuff. Stuff. You've got any uh, questions on helicopters? No. Firing the football, of course. Uh, decent weekend. Yeah, too bad. I've been painting, and uh, Mrs. has been away, so I've been uh, doing chores. You know. Yeah. So, fair uh, play. I'll be going back and ticking them off to see what I've done when she comes back. So. Yeah. yeah fair <laughs> play. Uh, so uh, with with Jack out the question, uh, mm. anyone in particular you're looking to beat? Obviously, nah. with you sort of coming back to gain a crown. Nah, I'm sure really? No, 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 just. Play fair and square and fair see and square. if we out on top. Yeah, yeah. Happy days. Any particular round you don't want to see? The usual. The uh, eBay price round. Thank you very much. <laughs> None of that. that means it'll be in. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. But we'll bring you back shortly. Cheers. Now, Aop, he, he really enjoyed this last time, so I thought I'd bring him back on again. <laughs> uh, only Ian. All right, Ian, how are you doing? I'm all right, Tom. How are you? All right. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, so I, I'll go straight into it very quickly uh, with Jack being out of the question. Is there anyone that you are, are looking to kind of beat or try to sort of not finish bottom? I'm try well, I'll, I'll say I'll not try and finish bottom, but I can't promise anything. <laughs> but um, I can feel the weight of the world on my shoulders and I can feel the weight of everybody else above me. So <laughs> I, I would imagine I am going to finish at the bottom. But, you know... <laughs> We're, we're here for a good time, aren't we? We are indeed. It's not about the winning, yeah. it's all about the taking part and having a laugh. Absolutely. So, happy days. Uh, yeah. Anything around you don't want to see? This um, I have got a list, actually. That The one with blurred aeroplanes, blurred mm -hmm. lines, is it? Blurred, blurred airlines, yeah. I don't like that one. <laughs> Can't do that one. <laughs> um, uh, what's the other one what, what wasn't very good at? Well, all of them. Um, <laughs> Your words, it, not mine. You said yeah, that. was it a guess the airport or something? Have you guess which which play which airport this is in or somewhere? That seems to ring a bell. Maybe not from the last quiz, but from maybe previous quizzes. Oh, like previously, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, then apart from that, yeah, just I'll just roll with it. And last yeah. week, decent weekend so far. I beg your pardon. Decent weekend so far. Um, yeah, it's been all right. Yeah, I went out for a Greek meal yesterday afternoon, mm -hmm. yesterday evening, and it was pretty much kebab meat and chips. It was an absolute <laughs> shocker. Yeah. So that and one of them, is it called a gyro or something? What the gyro, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 37 quid per. per. Sounds a rip-off. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Kebab no, meat and chips and a gyro, 37 quid. So that was a bit of a scam. Today I've been fishing all day today, which is... Gets me out of house, gets me some fresh air, and I'm full of a cold as well. So, <clears throat> happy days. I'm, I'm, I've got a really bad throat just in case my boss is watching. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi, if you are, by the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Right. We'll bring you back in a sec. Yep. And of course, we are 
you can't complete the game without the reigning, defending, undisputed uh, Quizness Jets champion. It is, of course, Lewis. Uh, hey, welcome Will. to you. How are you? All good. All good. Barring the uh, result today. So uh, I've got a new team. Rather. <laughs> they seem to be doing a little bit better. But, Rome, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, they've got a nice stadium. Similar to us. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, all good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see what, what uh, today's like. Um, it's going to be a tough one, I think. Yes, I was going to say, as the champion, you've seen your competitors. Uh, mm. How do you feel about uh, defending against the uh, current crop? Um, well, Jack's out of a picture, so that makes it a little bit easier. Um, <laughs> no, it, Back shot's fired. <laughs> um it's a tough group, really tough group. You've got some really um, ones which have won, and uh, I think Nibbles won us before, hasn't he? Um, I don't think, um, no, I don't think Nibbles no, no, would have won had he not disappeared. But. Oh, right, okay. Um, and anyone else won on that? I think, did Darren? Darren's won, won. Ian has won. Yes. Uh, Wayne hasn't. So there's quite a few regulars. Yes. I think who uh, could trip me up here, so we'll see. Yeah, you're going up against Wayne, I think, for the first time. Yeah, How you about that? He, he hasn't backed out this time. No, <laughs> hey. he hasn't done a jack. <laughs> Looking forward uh, to this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, get me uh, my own back for uh, him roasting the host and yeah. him crashing the bus. As long as you beat him, that's all that matters. Absolutely. Yeah, fantastic. All good. Right, well, let's bring everybody back onto the screen. Let me just change from here and bring in Wayne and Rob. I'm going to the bottom there. Um, and uh, let me get everyone into position. Point four. Um, and then it's going to be, yeah, and then it's. Um, and Wayne, cool. Happy days, right? Everyone, say hello to each other. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. You're all right. All good. Happy days. Yeah, I think we need to get you a, a better uh, um, green. Over that. Right, mate, cause... It's it's only because he's got it like vertically, and I've got it to the point where it's almost like cropping down the dead space. Mm -hmm. so that's why he looks that? like. He's oh so right, right, right. <laughs> what, what would make it? If we put it horizontally, would it be better? Yeah, I mean, you can. It's not an issue. Just means people like seeing your face. The lens nearly clean. Oh, yeah. Misty. <laughs> you got a smoke machine in there, Ian. No. <laughs> no what? You got a smoke machine in there? A smoke machine? No. Uh, oh, nice. what, oh, hang on. Just subtly prepping. For Why have you done talking? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I can what feel I have got? <laughs> what I have got is a cracked screen. Um, ah, there you go. Mm, mm, there you go. <laughs> All righty. So uh, if you're new to the quiz and wondering how this works, uh, we've got four rounds of games this evening that our competitors will take part in. Uh, there are points up for grabs. You can play along at home as well. These guys have no idea what rounds are coming up, but I do. Uh, so uh, without further ado, um, I'll just say a quick hello to those in the chat, including this excellent comment from Max. Nice haircut, Rob, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> the wife says you're welcome, sir. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we've got the likes of uh, Jim Gemmel uh, in the chat. I'm just going to read names out. Not really. uh, we've got Mark, we've got Lynn, we've got Carl, we've got Ro uh, Rob Brown, who should not be in the comments. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, David Bone, uh, Welshie Kev, uh, we've got Brandon, we've got Gail, uh, we've got Ian's daughter, Tian, in there as well. Um, we've got Steve. Got Milo. Yeah, Milo as well, yeah. Milo's here. Uh, Steve is Team Ian all the way down here. Do it for the common man. <laughs> well, I'll try. <laughs> uh, we've got Gemma, who is currently on board uh, an A330 watching. Uh, she's heading to Atlanta. Uh, so to you um, and yeah. everyone else in the Lurkers Lounge. Hello, hello. So, pen and papers at the ready as we are going to kick things off with a little bit of something different to the normal lineup. Uh, it's not going to be the blurred one. 
we are going to go for the price is shite. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah. I thought I'd oh, the there. there. <laughs> I'll leave that to what we're doing. I think so the price is shite. Oh dear. Oh, the pan. oh there it is. Oh. So in this round, I have gone through the deepest, darkest parts of the UK eBay, very important because the prices are in pound yeah. sterling. I've dug out uh, some weird and wacky stuff, and I've also dug out uh, some in more sort of more sort of like subtle pieces uh, as well. Um, and all you have to do is like the prices, right? Give me the price. You have to be under, not over, and the closest one will get five points. So. Uh, without further ado, let's go on to the first one. And it's a shame Jack's not here because I picked this one just for him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Maybe okay. So, at the same time as well, I will give you the rundown as to what it is um, once it loads. Thank you. So, this is. Um, <coughs> is uh, reusable cup, and in the box is a knife and fork. It's basically a cup and cutlery. Um, it is brand new, so it's never been used. And that is all the description tells you. You want two prices for this? I think. Look, the normal price and what Jack would pay. <laughs> uh, sure, let's go for... Let's go for what, what Jack would pay, which would probably be thousands of pounds. <laughs> uh, right, so I will also um, go through some more names just while you guys are having a uh, think. Uh, we have got... Sarah's in the chat. Hello to you. Hope you're well. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, official D Power says good luck, everyone. Um, well, she kept says, What a badge for STD! It starts with me. Oh. Not bad, wouldn't go around wearing it though. <coughs> also, in the comments, if you are playing along at home, uh, if you get closest to sort of let's say a tenor, give yourself five points if you are closest to it within a tenor, basically. Within a tenor, also, let us know who you think will win this evening. As well, mm -hmm. you are backing to win. Right. Everyone got something written down? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Happy days. Uh, so we're going to go in the order that we have the uh, screens on. So it'll be Lewis to kick things off. How much for the EasyJet cup and knife and fork? Well, I wouldn't pay this, but I'm assuming it's going to be something stupid. So I'm going to say 30 quid. 30 quid. Mm -hmm. uh, Darren. Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Uh, Ian. I've got twenty pound. Twenty pounds. Uh, Bill. I'm in twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, Rob. Eighteen pound ninety nine. Eighteen ninety nine. And Wayne. Twenty four pounds fifty. Twenty four pounds fifty. Mm -hmm. If you wanted a brand new EasyJet renewable. Uh, reusable rather uh, cup and cutlery set uh, you will be charged 40 quid, 40 quid. what <laughs> what oh, cool. yeah. 40 more quid. than one of their flights I, I wow. knew it'd be something stupid oh, yeah 40 quid ridiculous strange early five points go to lewis for 30 pounds nice I felt stupid putting fake quid on, but I also. <laughs> <laughs> also, very, very quick spoiler that is not my postcode. I was not signed into eBay at the time. So if anyone starts going, oh, that's the postcode, that is not my postcode. I don't know where that postcode is. It's closer to me, mate. <laughs> that's East London. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, it's closer to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck going to East London. Yeah. <laughs> Take Imagine care of your. Imagine you're on a flight to Paris, the, the flight cost you 30 quid, and they come up to you and say, you want a coffee? Yeah, that's 40 quid. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, we made that money, though. <laughs> Strange yeah. things have happened. Imagine losing that cup if you take it out, will you? Mm -hmm. 
especially after paying so much for it. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> it's like a main right. badge with a cup as well, isn't it? Yeah, just a reusable cup and a knife and fork. That's quite, or maybe a spoon. I don't know. And mm. a name badge, isn't it? No, that's the box it comes in. Oh, well, that's the box. Oh, oh, oh wow. Yeah, it looked like a name badge. So you could also put your name on there as well, just in case, you know, you take it to school and go, my name is... Oh, Jesus. Yeah. My name Jesus. is Jack. I was going to say, it's perfect. That's the type of people have their initials uh, stitched into the underwear. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> like Jack. Uh, right, so uh, <laughs> let's move on to item number two. Which is this? Oh, nice. So, this is a Boeing 757 product review manufacturer's sales brochure from 1994. Um, the other bits and bobs I can give you is a uh, vintage Boeing manufacturer's sales brochure with lots of information and images, including seat maps from 1994. Use condition with where. Uh, eBay, please note this manual is obsolete and no longer valid or used as a collector's item. Mm. What? Look at that bit. It's a collector's item. It is a collector's no. item. Okay. I think what just... the, it must mean it's just, it's not, you, know, you couldn't use it for anything else. It's just one of those three sort of things that you find. What was the, the, uh, the cup? What was the year mm. you said? Uh, 1994. Okay. For this one. Yeah. You can't go over on this one, can you, Tom? Can't go over. No, can't go over. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Everyone got something written down. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Cool. Cool. All right. So we're going to go the opposite way. Uh, so we're going to kick things off. <clears throat> Wayne, how much for the seven five seven sales brochure? Eighty nine pounds. Eighty nine. Right. Pound. I was going to be well under, so I might as well do a jack. <laughs> Rob, how much? Yeah, I think I've over egged this one. 178.51. 178.51. Uh, I went with the discounted point price, 1999. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this was a 757. They didn't break up. <laughs> I like the uh, I like the justification of the discounted <laughs> Boeing price. <laughs> when Boeing was good. Yeah. Does, that, does that come in an opening door as it comes in through your sort of parcel <laughs> delivery? Door's not included. <laughs> uh, Ian. Um, I've just gone for 75 quid. 75 quid. Darren? Mm -hmm. If mine's right, then this would be amazing. Like, I've done this for a bit of a laugh. <laughs> 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 well, I, figured would. I figured someone would. I mean, Ian was close for 75, but... <laughs> it was yeah. seven. Uh, oh, Lewis? Right. Uh, 155. 155 pounds. Oh, uh, so... I'm well here, I think. Go on. It's gonna be <laughs> I can tell you it's not seven hundred and fifty seven pounds. Seven hundred and fifty six. It is not. No, I'll tell you who was closest though. It was only Rob. 17995. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> well done. Sometimes a wild guess can work. I thought mm. I was going over. That was well, well, Yeah. <laughs> Use your inner Jack, Wayne. Yes. Oh, Jesus. She as soon as you see a collectible, around. just put a one in front of it. Yeah, just put an extra zero at the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just make sure you feel your inner Jack deep down, Wayne. Boo. That's not <laughs> thought. Don't switch on the microwave. <laughs> there you go. 179.95. It probably is a collector's item. Would I pay that? Probably not. Looks no. a bit used though, doesn't it? It's hardly a collector's item when you've got the balloon yeah. plastic peeing up on the top. Probably yeah, wouldn't pay that for that though. Kiddy, we did it still and put some wallpaper on about it to make it keep it good. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, next one for you. 
bit of nostalgia. Here we go. Ooh. 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 Seven, four, seven. Mm. If you listen very closely, Wayne's uh, having a little bit of a moment, or as mm. Ted likes to call it, an accident. Um, so this is a, I mean, it's very standard, it's, it's very obvious what it is, but I'll tell you anyway. 747 200 Caledonian Airways uh, Worcester collector's model in scale 1 to 250 scale. So for those that don't know Worcester, they were sort of late 80s, all the way through the 90s, early 2000s, sort of maker of snap together models. Who was to make pork pies? Hey. Okay. Who was to make pork pies? <laughs> Is there something else? I don't think it's that Worcester. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Then again, I could also be wrong. Uh, mm. So, yes. Uh, <coughs> Worcester was very collectible back in the day. Before we had the likes of the air oh, <laughs> you can still buy them now, but not <laughs> new off the line. You can get your old retro. Oh, yeah. But how much for the Caledonian <laughs> Landor style livery? Hmm. Is that one of those kind of snap fit things you get on like, when you're on board type thing? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's sort of. Yeah, it's it's made to so again. So yeah, it's it's like um, it's the best way of putting it really. So not so it's it's a it's a brand that was way before the ones that do the ones you get on the planes now. Basically, this was like your early '90s version of like what you'd find now, basically. But a lot now is a lot better quality. These ones tend to yellow quite badly. The plastic was quite a what they're made from. It's very pr uh, pr uh, fragile, wasn't it? The plastic it was very brittle at times. Yeah, the wings to have a tendency to potentially snap if they were to drop as well. Yeah. So, um, but again, even like a little bit of like light or dust, it turns mm. it yellow, which is a bit of a shame because it ruins a lot of classic models. But there you go, Caledonian in the Landor style mm. livery that they had before they were totally absorbed. Everyone got something written down? Yep. 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 Happy days. Okay. Uh, so, Lewis, over to you. How much? Uh, 65. 65 pounds. Darren? 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Ian? Uh, 40. 40 pounds. Uh, Nabil? 80. 80 pounds. Uh, Rob? 27 pound and 58 pence. No, what was that, sorry? 27 pound and 58 pence. 27, 58 and Wayne? 29.99. I can tell you. So <coughs> bear in mind, this is 1, 250 scale. Uh, these are sort of not massively big. Um, if you were to buy this one on eBay right now, thirty two ninety nine, yeah. which it would have been Rob had Wayne not come in with his knowledge of models. Uh, twenty nine ninety nine wins it. Wayne gets five points. It's a model buff. Mm -hmm. to get it. Uh, as soon as I heard him say that, I was like, "Of course he did." <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. Cool. Yeah. Thirty-two ninety-nine. I don't think I'd even pay that for it. No, it was in really, really good condition, which it is. So I don't think it's worth thirty-three quid, knowing that it'll yellow within about six months. Worcester, you're looking at about fifteen quid, Matt, <laughs> aren't you? Really? If that, I bought a Golf Air seven three seven two hundred for two pounds on eBay, and uh, it hasn't yellowed yet because it's still in its box. So I refuse to bring it out. Uh, right, so uh, five points to Wayne. So at the moment, Lewis, Rob, and Wayne off the mark. Here comes something of the weird and wacky. And uh, thank you to Gemma for this one. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Gemma suggested this one at the end of the last quiz, uh, and she reminded me again today. Uh, so let me tell you what this is. <laughs> this is a turbojet engine complete with afterburner belonging to Concorde. 
Wow. Wow. This is a Rolls-Royce Olympus turbojet engine 593610 fitted with afterburner, complete with serial numbered model stand. Document documentation includes BA sign slash auctioneer certificate of authenticity, BA restriction of use. It must only be used for static display. The engine was fitted on wing number three position on Concorde, uh, registered uh, Golf Bravo Foxtrot Kilo Whiskey, which then became BOAG, which is now positioned at the Museum Flight in Seattle. Whoa. Take it used. I would think so. <laughs> <laughs> Great barbecue in the garden. It's only for yeah. static only. Yeah. Static display only. It must not be used for anything else. <laughs> Perfect for kebab meat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's yeah. an interesting thing to happen. Uh, other bit of information to know uh, is the approximate size is 18 feet long and standing five feet high. Uh, the weight of the engine is three and a half tons. The stand is two tons combined with a weight of five and a half tons. I take it as collection only. Collection <laughs> only, yes. <laughs> you, can, you can get it delivered to E14. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, East London. Um, well, it's not far from me. I'm not giving no, it <laughs> uh, So the other bit of information to know is this was the only engine that BA sold, which I had the afterburner fitted and the engine serial number plate attached. In addition, the only one for which the original logbook for delivery has been released. Quite a rare, uh, rare thing. So this will get your brains thinking. Mm -hmm. It'd be cheap. It'd be expensive, that. Yeah. Might yeah. need a bit more time for it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where the other three are. It's a good question, actually, where the other three could be. Mm. Well, you, I take it. Well, I know it's obviously display purpose only. I wonder, is it still working? My guess is it probably would be if it's saying. You, you can't, it's complete. It's basically complete. You can't, you can't put it in, obviously in an, an airport air, aircraft, but you could, you know, tune it all up and power it on. I, I guess you probably could, as a demonstration purpose, if it's mm. allowed to. It's impressive. It's the engine needs to be in the Vulcan as well. Mm, yeah, yeah. With with, with, uh, with reading. Mm. Mark the supersonic stagecoach. You yeah, maybe you could use that on your buses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it's not the only one to have said that because David come in with uh, Wayne could strap that to an open top bus. Imagine the speed of the submarine balls he could do. <laughs> Get around London a lot quicker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. everyone's got something written down, or do you need a bit more time? That's yeah. what you call them as stop serves, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, TFL's no. got now a super loop. <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, right. Right. Oh. Mm. There we go. Okay, so uh, let's uh, go around the room then and see how much you reckon that Concorde engine is. Lewis? Um, I'm going to say, since that's going to be crazy, but I'm going to say £699,000. £699,000. Darren? £699,000, yeah. I'm almost as crazy. I'm going half a million. Half a mil. Uh, Ian, twenty-seven k. No, Nabil. It's still a knackered engine. End it day, isn't uh, it? I've gone it's for Concord. a cheaper one again. Concord's worth a lot. One hundred fifty thousand. One hundred fifty thousand. You only get the best for the cheap price, eh? That's it. <laughs> get get half a point for a single. <laughs> Uh, Rob, over to you. £675,675. <laughs> you know that half a point for silly price. <laughs> uh, Wayne, over to you. 55 k <laughs> <laughs> You said you said a jack. Yeah. 
I didn't mean literally. <laughs> <laughs> this is mental money. It's going to be one point two million pound or something like that. Isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? It's well, between half a million and a million, I reckon. What you do with it is entirely up to you. I don't know what I would do with it, but then again, seven hundred twenty thousand pounds. No, that's worse. It's not worth that. <laughs> no, <laughs> Why don't you get finance on that? <laughs> It'd be worth uh, that if you had the fuselage to go around it. Yeah. Three and three, three payments of Kalana. Yeah, I don't think so anyway. Uh, Lewis gets... 300 the... points, is that all you get for it? Yeah. Oh, the rip. And it's in fire. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, 720k. Who's mm-hmm. close to that? What does that mean? Uh, that's you, Lewis. Yes, oh, my okay. points to you. Right, okay, thank you. Did Jim Gimmel buy it, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Got one of his garden. Mm. It's a nice barbecue, though. Oh, ready in two seconds. Right, we go with more of the model kind. <laughs> oh, Saudi Casa. Yes, mm. nail on the head. Uh, but I will read out the uh, description here. So it's a Casa 235 Royal Saudi Air Force Vintage Master Models Collector's Model Scale 150 Scale. Um, so it is a professional quality uh, vintage model from executive executive display models handcrafted in the UK during the 1990s. Only a... Uh, a very small number produced, so very collectible. Um, bits of obviously you need to know. Um, <coughs> it is 42 centimeters in length and made from fiberglass. That's what I see then. Is it half price because the props are falling off? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do you know what? When I picked the picture, I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, where's the props? I, I didn't even see that. Is that, is that the thing that's... I've mentioned slimes, so you can't see them, I suppose. It comes in monthly instalments. Yeah. You know when you collect those magazines and they tell you the first one's cheap? And then... <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit cheapish, doesn't it? Really, doesn't look very good quality. It's worth a few, though. Fiberglass from the nineties. Yeah, it's got, it's got to be Mind worth it. Fiberglass, but mm. the the windows look terrible. Actually, well, these would just be back in the day. If it's like a travel agent's type of model, mm. uh, the windows would just be pure paint. So it would never be a case of having the window visible. It would just be a case of. Um, just literally painting them on for aesthetics. Hmm. Yeah. So, despite the fact that uh, mm-hmm. I've just read out the description that is a CASA 235, Max has come in asking, is that a CASA? Never change. I'm not a Casa 235. Everyone got something written down? Yeah. Yep. Happy days. So, in reverse order, let's go for it. Wayne, how much? 149.99. 149.99. Rob? 222.22. <laughs> 222.22. Two twenty-two, twenty-two. Uh, Nabil, three hundred. Three hundred. Ian, uh, two fifty. Two fifty. Darren, ah, five hundred. Five hundred. And uh, Lewis, one hundred and seventy-five. One hundred and seventy-five. I can tell you, uh, this model. Uh, if you were to buy it right now on eBay through this listing, it will set you back. Two hundred and twenty-nine. Yeah. Ninety-nine. I got my. I got. I two hundred and twenty down. Blah. 
Still wouldn't have been enough. Rob gets it with all the twos. <laughs> Rob using his inner jack successfully. What threw me was when uh, Darren mentioned about the propellers. I thought, oh, to damage the lower price. <laughs> Don't believe what I say. Yeah. <laughs> sort of tactic, way, sort of tactic. How many points have I got? Zero. <laughs> Back to the weird and wonderful. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, <laughs> oh, that's, that screwed me over. <laughs> that's the one I know in there, Lewis. God. Yep. Nice. Again, Darren's hit it on the uh, on my head. It is a good uh, an uh, Augusta uh, AW one oh nine helicopter Ooh. airframe for static display. That's when you order the wrong model, the wrong size when you come in after a night out. Hands <laughs> off. Full size. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a parted out slash time expired airframe. All mechanical components, interior instruments, avionics, etc have been removed and are not included in the sale of the airframe. So essentially, you'll just use it's basically it's a shell. A shell. Yeah. Mm. It'd make, it make a good man cave with all your yeah. flight sim stuff in it, wouldn't it? It certainly would. I was going to say a glamping pod. Glamping mm. pod, yeah. Yeah. Something from Airbnb. Um, the amount of things you could do with it is incredible. Mm. But there you yeah, go. How yeah. much for basically a shell? <laughs> uh, Max has gone to bed. Night, night. Uh, with the comments of the night already from Jim, he says, Jimbo316 says, I just timed you out, Max. If you know the reference, you know the reference. If not, never mind. But Max has gone to bed. That's all you need to know. I guess tomorrow night. Right. So how much for the shell? No, more than that. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm. <coughs> so to make right now? Yep. Yeah. 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 I'll just quickly read out what David's put. Uh, David put, I'm sure there's scope for a porn site based on that thing called Fake Copter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how would he know? Oh, dear. Yeah, how would you know? <laughs> Something to do with the taxi as well, I think. Oh, that's what I've heard. Um, and how would you know? <laughs> David told me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, the shell of an Augusta uh, 109 helicopter. Uh, Lewis, kicking off with you. 5.5k. 5.5k. Darren. 5.5k. 5,000. What was that one? 5,000 pounds. 5,000. Uh, Ian. 7,000. 7, 7k. Uh, Nabil. <laughs> Went completely off board. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. That's a new one. He found the inner jack. He yeah. found his inner jack. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Rob, over to you. Twenty-one one oh nine. No, he's found one. Oh. He's definitely found his inner jack. Twenty-one one oh nine. Know what the price is going to be? And Wayne, I've got my darling five k. Five k. Okey doke. The shell of a helicopter uh, you would buy for six thousand five hundred and ninety-five pounds, which is Lewis. Ooh, uh, yeah. He's not allowed to get this right. He knows nothing about helicopters. <laughs> Who'd have thought I got a helicopter one right? <laughs> <laughs> Two and just give Lewis the crown now, shall we? Well, don't, don't need to. Yeah. Don't need to. There's still five points in him and Rob. So it's uh, hey, as soon as blurred line comes off, we got the drawing one. I'm screwed anyway. So don't worry about it. I I can either confirm or deny the uh, the rumours. Uh, <laughs> but last one for this particular round. We're going down the model route once again. Oh, oh. there we go. Yeah, uh, the groans went to ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who done that one. <laughs> For 
thought I'd keep it 747. Uh, so it is the demo house delivery um, in one 200 scale. Oh, Jesus. Uh, a couple of things that you need to know. Um, so the model is in reasonable condition for its age with some things of note. Some damage to the tip of the right side stabilizer, some paint loss on the fuselage above the wings, uh, some light scuffing chips to the paintwork on the nose area, cheat line and stabilizer, and a scratch on the forward left mm -hmm. fuselage. The display stand has one pin that inserts into the fuselage, should be two. Uh, it sits fine once attached, but can be further secured with some blue tack. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That is legit what it says. Um, so there you go. Is it die cast or plastic? I was gonna say, what's it made of? Uh, this to me is not made of those because that uh, is it resin? Resin. Resin. It, it's wood. wood. Oh. It's a wood model with a metal display. Stay away um, from fireplaces, then 35 centimeters in, in length. Okay. Mm, okay. And some blue tack. What you doing? Carl says, "Is Max selling this item?" <laughs> says most of his models are broken. Nice. Uh, okay. <sighs> I think you can just about see the, depending on what screen you're looking on. Uh, if you've got a big screen, you'll see it. If you don't have a big screen, you might not see it too much. That stabilizer on the uh, on the right hand side, you can see there is a very very small chip. It's not a straight line there. There's a, there's a bit of damage that you can see if you're watching on a big enough screen to see. It. I need to stick with that. Oh. Have I got something written down? Yeah. Yep. Days. Yep. Right. So, last one of the round. Uh, Wayne, over to you. How much for the seven four seven? Twenty eight ninety nine. Twenty eight ninety nine. Rob. Uh, One hundred and fifty seven forty seven. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, Jack is well represented here this evening. Uh, Nabil. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. Ian. Uh, 35 quid. 35 quid. Darren? Yeah. I was going to go £747 and decided that was insane. So I went 100. 100 pounds. Uh, and Lewis? Uh, £115. Pounds. £100. Oh, and £115. Pounds. So, uh, this wooden model of the 747 with its uh, imperfections. Hundred and fifty nine ninety. Fucking hell. Which is once again, it's down to Rob. Hundred with hundred and fifty seven. Forty seven. Yeah. Fix. Fix. Ridiculous. It's the beauty of eBay. The prices are stupid. <clears throat> and yet they want them to fix it with blue tack, that price. Yeah, hundred and fifty nine ninety nine plus a small pack of blue tack to go with it. However, it's for Birmingham. It's probably all they add. <clears throat> Three guns. Gun. That's, that's why I priced it twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> Happy days, right? Oh, who just who, who came? Oh, Ian left and came back. He was astonished. There we go. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Welcome Is back. <laughs> <laughs> he has gone Bob Wally. Yes. There we are. I'm trying to um, <laughs> I'm trying to use a different camera. My camera's knackered, isn't it? You, you could try a light. Oh, it's in split mode. <laughs> Ray, oh, we had it just then. How do you turn obviously I'm using my phone, how do we use the other camera? Me me Obviously I'm using <laughs> selfie camera, aren't I? You just flip it, uh, flip the camera around. You can't see the camera. Right. Well, you flip the phone, but you have to also flip the camera around. If you click on the camera option, it should give you an option to select the back camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a camera icon in the middle or somewhere. Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh, I. 
maybe uh-huh. you go to settings and it should give you an option there in under video. We're going to need a light sure. interval at like three as well. That light even even with that. Jack not here, there's still vibes of Jack. <laughs> <laughs> He's here in spirit. <laughs> right, whilst he sorts that out, I'll go through the scores very quickly. In last place, joint last place with Neil Poir is uh, Nabil, Ian, and Darren. He's gone. Uh, in <laughs> in second uh, place with five is Wayne. And mm-hmm. uh, joint uh, top with 15 is Lewis and Rob. So uh, I'll wait for him to come back. Uh, anyone that needs to have a quick break now? Yeah, I'm gonna put a light on. Uh, anyone needs to put a light on? You can just while we wait for Ian. I've got you can be here, isn't it? Everyone's got some lights on. Happy days, Ian. We we can see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to turn my camera around. It says <laughs> I can do it. Just bear with. <laughs> no, 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 bearing with. Yeah, it's not that bad. Sorry. It says extra camera. Have you not got? You know when you normally take a, a picture on your phone, there's an option to flip the camera around to use the back one. Yeah, I've, I've just I've used I've used that option now, but it's saying it's um, unable to access the camera for some reason. Maybe it only has to be selfie mode then. Mm. That's all I can think of. Okay, worst case scenario, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll keep going for the minute, just while he does that one. Uh, as we move on to uh, our next round, which is... I can already already hear the disgruntledness of people having to go through an eye test again for this one. Uh, but yes, it is Blurred Airlines with my incredible editing skills. Well, spec savers uh, keep rigging me up, so, you know, maybe yeah. the charts for... Well, I'm giving you a free eye test, yeah. so... And they probably do too, but mine's better. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> Your one has airlines. <laughs> there you go, yes. You could read it from the top to the bottom, that'd be great. Uh, so this one, uh, I've picked out uh, 10 photos from a particular year, um, and, of course, they're all blurred. Uh, they're blurred at 40%. One is slightly less because it has to be. Uh, otherwise, it will just be com- you know, completely blurred and you won't see anything. And I'm not that mean. Um, <coughs> we'll see you. Let's get some points for this one. Let's go for... Well, is it again 40% blurred? It's 40% blurred. One is slightly less because it has to be. Okay. Otherwise, you wouldn't see an app. You, know, you wouldn't see anything. So... So that is uh, that's fine. Let me just grab the uh, images. We'll start off with. Yep, we'll go with that first. And then, as we're guessing, I'll bring the rest up onto the screen. So, first one on your screen. So, it's, what should we do here? I'll tell you what, let's up the point. So, two points right. per thing rather than normal one that we do so it's two points for the airline and two points for the plane four if you can get them both here comes your first one oh the theme by the way is 2001 ian's gone (laughs) but uh 2001 is the theme for today you sure the theme's not 2000 Hey, <laughs> see why, man. Darren, there's always one. It's a flying carpet. Welcome back, Ian. No, I oh, will have to sort the uh, the order out once again in a second. But that's fine. So yes, there you go. That is what uh, we are looking at. Uh, two points for the uh, the airline and two points for the aircraft if you can get it. Got it. 
Yep. So we can go. Right, everyone got something for it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me adjust the positioning once again. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Okie doke. Uh, Lewis, what is that, please? Uh, 757 Air 2000. Air 2000, uh, 757. Darren. Say it again. Air 2,757. Air 2,757. Ian? I put an A320, not a clue. A320, not a clue. Yep. Uh, Nabil? Uh, A321, Thomas Cook. I had no idea what delivery it was. A321, Thomas Cook. Rob? 757, Air 2000. Uh, 757, Air 2000. And Wayne? The same again, 757, Air 2000. 757 air 2000 okay nice one to start off with uh what gives it away please the lettering on the side <laughs> the the to be anything else. The yeah, how can you see the lettering <laughs> darren's, darren's uh gift <laughs> darren's excellent gift however uh you are all completely wrong with the airplane, it's the A321. It's a 321. So, two points for Air 2000. The bill gets two for A321. There you go. Very cool. Because a single landing gear. Ah, yes. Knows his stuff, even when it's blurred. Very true. There you go. Cool. Happy days. Right, cast your minds back to 2001. What's this one, please? Oh. Give yourself four points at home if you manage to get that one that we just had. Let's go through and see. Lots of people went for first choice. Lots of people also went for the 757. So which one is this? <coughs> hey, we'll got some questions now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't, yeah, go on. I've got the airplane. Alrighty. Uh, let me just let those load there. Cool. All right. So, uh, back round the opposite way this time. Wayne, what is that one, please? I'm going to take a stab in the dark. 737, uh, baby, uh, BMI. Uh, some, excuse me, 737. Baby BMI, that's what's called. Okay. Uh, Rob? 737 and Helios. 737 Helios. Uh, Nabil? I went with A300, uh, A Transit. A Transit, A300. Uh, Ian? Mm. I've just gone for 737 with no idea. 737, no idea. Darren? Well, next is 737-200. And it's obviously in somebody's special scheme. So I went some, I was just guessing, Canadian North? Canadian North, uh, 200, and Lewis. I wasn't sure on the airline, but I've, I've, I've checked, well, I've done a guess. Air, Euro Cypria 737. Euro Cypria 737. I'll have a look in the chat and see if anybody got it right. Um, at the moment, doesn't look like it. So, uh, anyone else want to take it just while we're here? Anyone want to take a, a, another stab in the dark as to who it could be back in 2001? It's a special scheme, isn't it? It's a special, it's a special livery, yes. Southwest? Is it European? It is not European. Is it Hawaiian? Oh, no. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh. Jesus. That's a toughie. Yeah, that was harsh. 
Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Cartoon Network. Power it was never supposed to be easy. But uh, yes, this was uh, representing Cartoon Network during its absolute prime when it used to have the greatest TV shows Absolutely. in the world. Oh, yeah. TV show that one. I'm not I'm not afraid to admit that one. Mm -hmm. I'll throw my hands up and go. I used to watch Powerpuff Girls. Hell yeah, I used to. As well. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Bravo, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah, oh, the list goes on and on. We've all got a mate like Dexter's a laboratory. Dexter's laboratory. Good time. Right, back to 2001. Cast your minds. Here's your next one. Ooh. Ooh. So Ooh. Two points to those that got 737, but uh, here we go for this one from 2001. Who does this belong to? And more importantly, what is it? Oh. This is actually a good scheme. So I quite like doing themed versions of this because it's like a proper test of knowledge. <laughs> right. Have I got something written down, or do you need more time? You've got it written down. I'm ready. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be, but yeah. Who hasn't got anything written down? No, I'm all good. Everyone's all good. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> Happy days. All right. Let's go for it. Uh, Lewis, what do you think? Uh, I think it's Britannia, and I'm not too sure if it's an episode 321, but mm. I can't remember if it if they had them. Okay, Britannia A321. Darren? Canadian Airlines. Go again. Canadian Airlines A320. Canadian Airlines A320. Bird on the uh, Ian? I've gone for a 757 and a Cafe Special Livery. Cafe Special Livery 757. The bill. Mm. I went with the A321 US Airways. I had no US idea. Airways, what A321. Rob? Um, I'm assuming the bill A321 US Airways. A321 US Airways. And Wayne? I uh, went down the same route as the Roost. Roost did the A320 Britannia. A321 Britannia. T 321 or 320? 320. 320 for Britannia. Okay. Uh, the full four points go to Darren. It's Canadian oh. and the A320. Wow. Mm. Mm. It's not 21, is it? No, it's no. 20. That's 20. 320. Why does it, when it's blurred, it makes it feel like it's longer? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think it's delivery that does it, isn't it? it makes yeah, it, it feels like a more of a 75 or A321 sort of model. Well, in the words of Coldplay, nobody said it would be easy. Oh. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe why my missus always takes her glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, on to your next. Think back to 2001. Oh, 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 now. Lots of noises. I like it. Oh, now. Oh, no, it, oh. it was that one. Mark said the uh, Canadian uh, A320 bizarre livery. It's not the it's not my favourite that they had. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Dom's in the chat. Uh, evening to you. Uh, he says uh, all the noises there sound like a porn film. And everyone was like, "Oh, oh, oh!" <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Watching some crap porn films. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, why are you like this? Oh, Is this a special again? I can neither confirm or deny this one. It really looks for me, and I don't. Oh, it's fucking hell out, mate. It's the red tail for a man. Yeah. I don't know who it should be. <laughs> Mark says Don needs to upgrade to better porn. <coughs> but he was using our noises to, you know, yeah. Um, <clears throat> mm. That'd be the shittiest porn video ever, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, we've done a Chris we've done a Christmas song coming next and no pun intended. <laughs> <Go with it. laughs> yes. Talk stabbing the dark. It's TDL does Dallas. <clears throat> I can't think of who it is. <laughs> Yeah. Right, everyone got something written down. Okay. Yep. Um, I haven't got the foggiest now with that one. Okay. I don't think this is worth we'll it. We'll see what uh, we'll see what comes up. Um we'll go with Wayne. What do you reckon? Saab US Airways. US Airways Saab. Rob. A jet stream Eastern Airways. Jet stream Eastern Airways. Uh Nabil. I've gone with the Logan Air. It's King Air 350 or 200. One of you, though. Logan Air King Air. Uh, Ian, what did you put? I have no answer down whatsoever. No answer? That's fine, no answer. Dan. I think it's a Jetstream 41. No, I was kind of going down the Manx route. But I can't. The tail doesn't look right. But I'll go Manx anyway, just to say something. Yeah, Manx actually crossed my mind <laughs> with that, to be honest. I think uh, it's Lewis. Lewis. Uh, I'm not sure on the airline. Air Canada Express Saab uh, 340 Air Alpha. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, interesting uh, on this one. Uh, if you did think Jetstream, uh, give yourself two points. Oh, nah. If you thought Manx but didn't go Manx, you're probably going to kick yourself. It Ooh. was Manx. Oh. <laughs> Get in now. <laughs> Terrible scheme from the tail. <laughs> I don't mind. I thought it looked quite nice on the uh, uh, what they had. What was it? A BAE one four six or something? <clears throat> I thought it was quite nice. I got a giant model of uh, one of those somewhere. Hmm. But uh, yes, Manx and the uh, Jetstream forty one. Very similar looking to the Saab, aren't they? Yeah, very similar. <clears throat> threw me off. This aircraft, I think, is still in service with Eastern. Hmm. Mm. Possibly using the same reg. I flew on a Manx. No, I didn't. I flew on a BA Jetstream 41 from London Derry to Glasgow years ago. Mm. And I wanted to use the toilet. And I went down to the back. And the actual toilet, it was full of water up to the brim. No. Oh. I'm surprised they even took off. Because if we well, did a bang, no. half of it would have gone down the aisle. But, oh. uh, yeah, I didn't go to the toilet, obviously. <laughs> I regretted having the beer. I think we've got to press with jet streams as well. With the I think, we're so, designed, yeah. I think GH team were designed and built at Preswick. Mm, there you go. Yeah. Mm. And Eastern Airways are flying it under the same reg. Oh, very good. Really? Well, uh, well, well researched. How many years old? Did you get a point? <laughs> Did you get a point? <laughs> <laughs> what, for cheating? No. Is no, I thought Google it just out of interest. <laughs> All right. Uh, Darren gets a full four for the, uh, for the Manx and the Jetstream. Let's see if anyone can get the full four for this. Oh. 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 <laughs> it sounds like noise is coming out of the back of your fake helicopter. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Could be one or two, though. Mm. Yeah, even Sarah's joining in with the oh, oh, (laughs) 
lots of interesting noises. Mm. <coughs> Uh, David also confirms that uh, that aeroplane uh, that we've just seen, the jet stream, um, floats past his window a lot in Aberdeen. Mm. There you go, still in service. Oh, it's a river boat. <laughs> I thought floats was an interesting to, uh, <laughs> word to you. Nice. Yeah. All right. Everyone got something down? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's go for it, uh, Lewis. What do we reckon? Air tours DT ten. Air tours DT ten. Darren. Air tours DT ten ten. Air tours DT ten. Ian, he disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he gone? I don't know. I don't know where he went. We'll come back. To <laughs> Nabil, over to you. Oh, I've got DC10, but no idea about the livery. Uh, DC10. Uh, Rob? DC10, Air Tours. DC10, Air Tours. And Wayne? Then route again, DC10, Air Tours. Okay. Just wait on the There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, I nipped it low. No, that's all right. Uh, what, was your, uh, what was your answer? <clears throat> I put an MD11 and Jet Airways. Jet Airways, MD11. All right. W Premier. W Premier. <laughs> it could have been either or. It could have yeah, been Air Tours or Premier. You're right to go with Air Tours. Yeah. Air Tours and DC 10. What a livery. 10 mm. 10. A beautiful Ooh. livery. It's a nice frosty day. Mm. Nice frosty day. Mm. But uh, yeah, very, very nice. Very well done. Uh, to those who got it, uh, four points to you, uh, two points if you said DC10. Straight away, mine thinks MD11, doesn't it, when it pops up? Again, I think it's because when you blur it, it makes things look a little different, a little longer as well. And yeah, I can see why people, a lot of people in the chat said the MD11. But uh, yes, uh, one, two, three, four, five, we're halfway through. Here comes your next one. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. David says Ian is just away rolling another joint. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. I am. You've been fishing all day. I were up all night, pretty much, and fishing all day today. Did you catch anything? Yeah, I caught two little pike. Pike? Well, they're little nasty as well. Huh? Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> You're going to eat them, fry them, cook them? Put them back in water where they live, where they belong. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I live in Norway. In Norway, that's called a sin. If you don't eat it, <laughs> you shouldn't fish it. <laughs> Some big pike up that way. Oh, yeah. They can be aggressive, can't they, Pike? Yeah, yeah, they really, really are, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to show, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did Ian get another pin of guineas? <laughs> hey? Pint of guineas. I think that's supposed to be a pint of guineas. All right. <laughs> a pint of guineas. Will there be a brand there available? I'm not even drinking guineas. I'm drinking bloody uh, lager. <laughs> In a lager glass. Lager in a lager glass. We could have could be worse. We'd be drinking guinea pigs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do that in Peru. And uh, Sarah's highly offended. She says, Don't spell Guinness wrong, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk to anyone about Guinness. Do not spell it wrong in front of Sarah. Mm. Happy days. Right. So everyone got something written down for this? Yeah. 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 Sure. Cool. Three days. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> who did we go for? It was uh, so Wayne. Over to you. Who's that, please? Seven three seven Air Algeria. Uh, seven three seven Air Algeria. Rob. Same. Seven three seven Air Algeria. Uh, Nabil. Same. Seven three seven Air Algeria. Uh, Nabil. Uh, sorry, not Nabil. Ian. Ian. 
Uh, well, I've actually, put, I've put I've put three nineteen Japan Japan Airlines. You know, at this point, I'm I'm just giving up. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as a silly answer. Um, yeah, <laughs> Darren. Uh, Air Algerie, country seven two hundred. Lovely, Lewis. Uh, Air Algerie, seven three seven two hundred. Oh. <clears throat> I can see why the Japan route was was was, was picked. Yeah. Definitely. It's not the route we went down, though. Air Algeria, 737. <coughs> 200. Hey. You caught their 330 on their Friday, didn't you, Lewis, going out? Yes, yeah. I was just going through the pictures, actually, making steals at them. It was quite nice. Mm. Fun fact as well, if you search for this registration, it shows up as a 330. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Nice, that. Mm. Mm. Like the chrome engines on it, I think that's quite mm. uh, quite nice. Yeah, mm. yeah let's prop smile that. <clears throat> the Air Algeria in the seven three seven two. Lovely job. Next one might be a little bit tricky, so I might give you a bit of time to think about it. I like how they've written it in braille as well at side. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes your next. I'll oh. give you a bit of time to think about it. It's a bit unfair to have an all white aircraft, isn't it? Yeah. Good. So everybody there yeah. got the full four points except for Ian. Oh, I know who it is. Cast your minds all the way back to 2001, if you can. Just thinking about being a mere speck in the ball sack of life. No, I quite a big speck still then. <laughs> oh, a bit tricky this one, but. See what you can come up with. Mm. <laughs> right, everyone got something written down? No. Not yet. Mm -hmm. oh. Who who has got something written down? Well, yeah, go over it. yeah, I do. Yeah. Just Lewis and Ian. Yeah. No, I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm all good. Oh, no, good. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah, go on. Okay. Right. Everyone's got something. So we'll see what you put for this one. Slightly on the tricky side. But uh, Lewis, what do you reckon? Uh, I think it's an ATR 42 and possibly American Eagle. American Eagle ATR 42. Darren? It's an ATR 42 of German wings. Uh, ATR 42 of German wings. Ian? I've got an ATR, but I put Korean, Korean Air, Korean Air ATR. Um, Nabil, I'm an ATR seven, China Southern, China Southern. Uh, Rob, uh, Fokker fifty, a city jet. Fokker fifty, city jet, and mm. Wayne. ATR China Eastern. ATR China Eastern. Very tricky this one. The only one that was closest with the airline was uh darren Ooh. euro wings oh, fuck. oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> the yeah i knew it was that that was the one i was yeah, thinking one about. of the two yes but euro wings oh. the atr 42. we used to go yeah. in the gap every day it was oh. like purple and red and the logo threw me for china oh. yeah like, it looked like an american sort of or yeah sort of airline for me again it's the beauty of doing this it's uh you find airlines that tend to throw you off it's like why I've, why i went down the themed route because you could do nowadays stuff but it's all virtually the same so it's kind mm -hmm. of a yeah test your knowledge you'll get half a point for wings <laughs> no. <laughs> sadly not <coughs> all right three to go here comes the third from last one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Be 
keeping score at home, let us know what you've got once the round is done. Everyone got something for it? <clears throat> yeah. Would need a bit more time. Do I get a bonus point if it's the one I flew on to Copenhagen? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no. <laughs> get lost. Oh, Sorry. Oh, Jimmy swear. Sorry. I think it's a. Um, All good? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wayne, you good? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. We're well, going to start with Wayne. What do you reckon? I've got the airline, but to be a 146. A 146, mm. not got the airline. Rob? Same BA 146, and I'll have a punted DHL. DHL. Uh, 146. And the bill? Um, BA146 DHL as well. I'm down the DHL route, Ian. I've got BA146. I'm going to have a, going to have a punt at Norwegian. Norwegian. Uh, Darren? Uh, 146 300 of Buzz UK. Buzz UK, uh, BA146. And Lewis? I've done the same as Darren, Buzz, BA146. Uh, one four six. Happy days. All right, this one mm -hmm. you can cast your minds back. Not around for long. Yeah. No buzz. Oh, I couldn't see two engines on each side. It was really like I was hoping it was just a blur, and it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. the the, uh, the original buzz. Look at that. Which, uh, didn't last for very long. No. Along yeah. comes Ryanair. Along comes Ryanair to. Give their own iteration. God damn fucking bastard. <laughs> so, <laughs> they haven't uh, butchered, to be fair, they haven't actually butchered it that much. <coughs> to be fair, no. It actually, looks better than, it actually looks better than normal, right? No, it really does. Yeah, I, I, I like it what I've done with it. Got no complaints with this one. So, it looks points to Darren and. Uh, Lewis, two points for uh, the rest of you as we go on to the penultimate one of the rounds. Here's that one. Is that my Xbox controller? <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, but I will. Munch two, munch two. Right, everyone got something round, written down for it? Yeah. Yeah. I got a <sighs> right, round the room, Lewis. Uh, Le Air France, Embraer ERJ 145. 145 Air France, Darren. It's a little Fokker. Fokker 28, I think. Of Altair, maybe. Of, of who, sorry? Altair. I'm not too sure of the airline, to be honest. Okay, uh, Fokker 28. Um, um, Ian. I've got nothing written down. Nothing written down the bill. A front and uh, a change to ERJ as well. A France ERJ roll. Uh, Air Inter Fokker. 
Any Fokker in particular? It's quite a large range of them. Uh, Fokker 100. Fokker 100. Wayne? Fokker 100 Air France. Fokker 100 Air France. How do we on this? It's Air France. It is Air France. It's the Fokker 17. Uh, it made that red stripe look so big. <laughs> it's a bit different when it's like that. <clears throat> God. <laughs> but yeah, Fokker 70 of uh, Air France or Air Littoral. Hmm. Either answer would have been absolutely fine. So 2.4 the airline. Last one of the round. <clears throat> We've seen this one recently. Ooh. Easy to hate this. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear Max asks what the uh, VAE 146 engines are powered by David put Max they are powered by Stroop waffles usually <coughs> Everyone got something down for this one? Yeah. Yep. Cool, cool. Uh, Wayne, what's that, please? 737 Go. 737 Go, Rob. Same, 737 Go. 737 Go, Nabil. I've got A320, no livery. A320, no livery. Ian? Yeah, I'm same as Nabil, A320, no livery. Between no livery, Darren. Seven three seven three hundred of go. Yeah. What was the uh, uh, airline? Sorry. Go. British go. Airways is the low cost airline. And Lewis. Seven three seven go. Seven three seven go. <coughs> Known for the multi colours, however, again not successful. Go. Oh, go exploring. Go exploring. My mate used to say, oh, go fuck. <laughs> Rob, no worries. We'll take a quick note. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Can I get a break? One quick minute. Go for a break. If anyone needs a break, now is a very good time to do so. We are halfway okay. through the quiz. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. Mech and Jack Rolls look good, aren't they? <laughs> Well, as it stands, you at the moment um, you are on course to have the lowest score ever recorded on the quiz. <laughs> but I don't think you'll get it. No, I'll, I'll be honest with you. My brain's just not working at all tonight. <laughs> it's fine. I see food. Wayne, what are you snacking on, please? Chicken poppers. Chicken poppers. Excellent. Great choice. The ones from Co-op are the best. These ones are Tesco. Not mm. bad. Mm. Very good. Very good. I'm just going to see if I've got... It's funny when I'm streaming and I'm in the sim and the light beside the wheel and I'm stuck there just munching away if you don't know this. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll run the scores very quickly and then I'll uh, go through them again. So in last place with six points uh, is Ian. Uh, the lowest we've had, I believe, is eight. Mm. Uh, so I think you'll be fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, last place, Ian, was six points. Uh, what we got? Fifth place is Nabil with 14 points. Uh, then it is very close between the Thank remainder you. of the pack. So in fourth place uh, is Wayne with 29 points. Oh, no bleed time. Uh, yeah, that's right. In third is Darren out of nowhere with 30 points. Uh, second place is Rob with 35. 
and leading the way by four points is Lewis with 39. So it is very close. Uh, we'll wait for Lewis to come back. And then we'll go on to our penultimate round, which is another fan favourite. <clears throat> Jack's still stuck in traffic, by the way. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, nice busty. Yeah. busty. We've got nothing going. I wonder if he's actually in traffic going home or in traffic going to where he was supposed to be. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Well, uh, we'll get into the next round anyway. We'll wait for Lewis to come back, but we'll go into it anyway. It is everyone's favourite flight time predictions. <sighs> so... This is all to do with flight radar and average flight times. Mm. Uh, so I've gone through uh, flight radar today, uh, picked out some flights that I've seen, uh, and all I need you to do is just tell me through the, I think, did I leave? I think I may have accidentally left it as kilometers. I'm not entirely sure. Sky, sky, the right side eye. What you need to tell me is the, um, <coughs> Flight time according to flight radar. Um, so let me just make sure that I'm doing the right one here. What's, what's the next round? Flight time predictions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, here comes your first one. There are eight in total. It is the Amsterdam to Porto flight on the uh, KLM 737 700. Uh, I thought I changed it to nautical miles. Apparently not. 1,597 kilometers. You allowed to be over or under? You can be over on this one as well. Okay, just nearest. Yeah. Just got to be closest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Amsterdam to Porto, KLM fifteen seventy three. Yeah. Go for it. And again, we'll do this one. Two points up for grabs for the correct. <laughs> Everyone got something? Yep. All right, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, um, hang on. Yeah. Two hours, 10 minutes. Two hours, 10. Darren. Two hours on the button. Two hours on the button. Uh, let me just get that there. Um, Ian. I've got, <clears throat> excuse me, two hours and 20 minutes. Two hours, 20. Nabil. Hmm. Two hours, 20 as well. Two hours twenty as well, Rob. Two twenty-one. Two twenty-one. Oh, and Wayne. Putting in the middle. Two hours five minutes. Two hours and five minutes. Uh, so uh, this one would take by an average flight time two hours and twenty-five oh. Oh. minutes, uh, which is Rob by a, by a minute. <laughs> Oh. Taking, taking the points away from the bill and Ian. <coughs> like you really needed it. <laughs> <laughs> two points. Rob and get eh? Two points to Rob on that one. Uh, as we go on to our next one here, which is uh, Doha to Auckland in New Zealand on Qatar. A350. With a um, great circle distance of fourteen thousand five hundred and thirty-five kilometers. Really should change that to nautical miles next time. How many kilometers? Sorry, uh, fourteen thousand five hundred and thirty-five. No, I can't be wrong. Yeah. All right, 
right. Uh, Lewis, got something? Um, yeah. Darren? Yep. Ian? Yep. Nabil? Yep. Uh, Rob? Yep. Wayne? Yep. Oh, all right. Wayne, we'll go with you first. Eight hours, 50 minutes. Eight hours, 15. Rob? Uh, 14 hours, 60. Oh. <coughs> Is that why his finger stuck in his ear? <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. So, so what was yours? Fourteen euros sixty, or fifteen euros, whatever way you want to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> really, is getting out of the inner jack. Uh, fifteen hours, Nabil. Sixteen hours fifty. Sixteen hours fifty. Uh, Ian. Um, eight hours thirty-five. Eight hours thirty-five, Darren. Uh, 15 hours 30. 15 hours 30. Lewis? 15 hours 20. Oh, 15 hours oh 20. come on. Too close. <laughs> All right. Qatar flight 920 from Doha to Auckland is an average flight time of 15 hours 15 wow. minutes. Ooh. What does that mean? Lewis. That is Lewis. Ooh, lovely. For 15 hours 20. Five minutes out. Well done. All right, number three mm. is, it'd be rude not to when we do this, right mm. uh, Stansted to Cork. Uh, with a great circle distance of 601 kilometers. Mm. Rude not to put Ryanair on this round. <laughs> <laughs> David guessed uh, 12 hours 90 minutes <laughs> okay <laughs> oh. Kevin says three days because they landed at a different airport <laughs> uh, uh, right, uh, Wayne, what have you got? 44 minutes. 44 minutes. Rob? 1 hour 10. 1 hour 10. Uh, the bill? 1 hour 5. 1 hour and 5. Ian? 1 hour and 5. 1 hour and 5. <clears throat> One hour and ten. One hour and ten. Yes, sir. Uh, right, uh, Lewis. As the great date, uh, Jack would say, "Goddamn fucking bastards!" It's one hour and six. One hour and six minutes. Okay, so stand centre cork, average flight time. One hour and five minutes. Oh, on. which is both, uh, oh, Nabil, yeah, isn't he? Both Nabil and Ian. <laughs> I was getting excited there because one minute, but I just realised <laughs> <laughs> I wanted two people had one hour and five. Rob, five minutes. I oh. just did a flight from uh, Luton to St Belfast today, so I was like... There you go. <clears throat> Pay to play the flight oh, sometimes. Oh, and it works. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, let's go for the next one. It is uh, Air India. Uh, from Delhi to Milan and Mount Penza uh, with a great circle distance of 6,170 kilometers. Mm. Uh, Ian, I can safely tell you, you are now tied with the lowest score recorded. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was that a jack score? Uh, it was not. No, it was not a jack score. Mm. I think it was young Caitlin that got eight yeah. when she was on. Yeah. Okay. 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 Lewis, what you got? Oh god, uh, one hour. Uh, sorry, eight hours and ten minutes. Eight hours and ten minutes, Darren. Eight hours. Eight yeah. hours. Uh, Ian? Seven hours 40. 
seven hours and 40 minutes, uh, Nabil. Yeah. I've got eight hours and 20. Eight hours 20. Uh, Rob? Eight, 18. Eight, 18. Uh, and Wayne? Eight hours 45. Eight hours 45. Uh, it is going, well, according to Flight Radar, the average flight time is eight hours 18. Ooh. Which, yeah. Rob, is spot on. <laughs> Wow. With eight hours and 18 as a guess. Very good. Mm, points go to points. Mm. Yeah. We know uh, Rob's uh, strongest round. Mm. Getting it spot on. Right. I thought we may as well throw this in there because of the fact that uh, Gemma was on this one and this is her flight uh, that I managed to catch a screenshot of. Uh, earlier it is of course manchester to atlanta this is what she was on today uh with a circle distance of six thousand five hundred and ninety six kilometers virgin 109 would have been rude not to <laughs> oh yes i've just seen it <laughs> I've just seen it. Okay, so during the uh, the Air India one, there was a, a really good guess from Max. He said seven hours and fifty minions. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Thank you, Kev, for pointing that out. Six thousand five hundred and ninety-six kilometers. <laughs> Yeah. So, how long on average uh, will go for Wayne? Eight hours forty-five minutes. Eight hours forty-five again, Rob. Eight fifty-two. Eight fifty-two. Nabil. Eight ten. Eight ten. Uh, Ian. Eight twenty. Eight twenty. Darren. Nine hours. Nine hours. Lewis. Eight thirty-five. 8.35. Uh, the average flight time of Virgin 109 from Manchester to Atlanta, according to the flight radar, 8 hours and 30 minutes, Ooh. which is Lewis with 8.35. Very good. Ooh. Points got a bloody point. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to add this to my rounds. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully for you, uh, there is one more to go, and then we are on to our final round. But here is the last one. It's Southwest Airlines from Houston to Nashville with a great circle distance of 1,078 kilometers. Southwest 4941. Okay, everyone got something down for yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, Wayne, over to you for that one. One hour 55 minutes. One hour 55. <coughs> 128. 128. Uh, Nabil? 1 hour 50. 1 hour 50. Ian? Uh, 2 hours 8. 2 hours 8. Uh, Darren? Uh, 1 hour. 41 minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly. and Lewis. Uh, sorry, Rob. One hour 29. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Oof. You bastard. Right. <laughs> uh, so uh, Houston to Nashville uh, is on average one hour 38, uh, which is Darren. Yeah. Yes. Who gets the win with one uh one forty one? Oh devil round. Ooh. Very good indeed. That is the end of that round. Mm -hmm. Here are the quick scores. Uh <coughs> we move on to our final uh, round. 
uh, no surprise, in last place with eight points is Ian. Uh, in fifth place with 16 is Nabil. Uh, in fourth with 29 is Wayne. I'll uh, walk here. <laughs> uh, third with uh, 32 uh, is Darren. Then uh, it's going to get close for the final round. In second place, 39 points is Rob. Uh, leading the way by four points is Lewis, our current champion. 43. Jesus. As we all know what's coming next. Oh, can I have a request for the final round? Go on then, Darren. Can we have a special round on helicopters? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would be fair for a lot of people, including myself. I'd have to do a lot of research. <laughs> uh, I concur. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, Injector seat, of course. It's a game of survival. Oh my god. Here we go. So uh there was a few people who mentioned about airlines from a particular region. That's not what we're doing. I just need to know the airlines that operate into a particular airport. Okay. Uh, they have to be on the list. Uh well, if I have to throw it to VAR, then I will. Uh, otherwise, uh otherwise, uh how it will work is uh all of you will have about 30 seconds or so just to brainstorm. At some air airlines that go into a particular airport. Again, passenger, cargo, charter, whatever, as long as they make the list. Um, if you go out first, uh, you get two points. The round continues until there's one person standing, and then there is a potential, uh, as there's six of you, for a maximum of 12 points. This round always cocks me up. Mm -hmm. Just shut up. Uh, so, yes, so we've got 12 points <laughs> grabs. All to play for. Here is your first airport. Helsinki. Ooh. Yeah. Lovely airport. <sighs> so, it'd be passenger, cargo, charter, whoever. It's just got to make a list. Okay, so you can continue to brainstorm uh, as we uh, go. And we will go with the order which we have it on the screen. So it'll be Lewis, then Darren, then Ian, then the Bill, then Rob, then Wayne. <coughs> uh, da, 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 da. So there we go. Let me move that there. All right, kick us off, Lewis. Well, thin air. Thin air, of course. Uh, Darren. British Airways. <coughs> did you get my answer? I did. Two seconds. I think I do. Maybe they stopped. They did used to. I think Thin Air's taking it over, mate. Yeah, it's all one will, isn't it? Mm. Oh no, suicide. <laughs> just just double checking, that's all. Um yeah. unfortunately not, Darren. Okay. So Ooh, two points. <coughs> for Darren there. Uh, we carry on with Ian. SAS. Yeah. Correct. Uh, Nabil. Uh, Norwegian. Correct. Rob. Uh, in Baltic. It's on the list. Wayne. Lufthansa. Correct. Lewis. Um, Aegean. Uh, correct. Uh, Ian. Uh, KLN. Correct. Uh, Nabil. Uh, Air France. 
Uh, correct, Rob. Uh, Ace on there. Correct, uh, Wayne. Air uh, Greenland. Not on the list. Uh, where are we at? Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. So four points. To Wayne, we carry on with Lewis. Um, Japan Airlines. Japan Airlines is there. Uh, Ian. Uh, Swiss. Not on the list. Mm. It should be. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not. Uh, well, six points uh, to Ian. So he does not walk away today with the lowest score. Uh, but we carry on with um, Nabil. Brian here. Correct. Uh, Rob. We go over to the airline Turkish. Because they fly everywhere, uh, correct. Uh, Wayne's not there, so Lewis. Um, Vueling. Vueling is there. Um, Nabil. DHL. Mm. I think so. That's got my turn, isn't it? Get on it. No. It's definitely there. Oh, I haven't done my list. Good for things there. <laughs> Quick I swear I've seen DHL at Helsinki mm -hmm. before and I've spotted it. Yeah, because I've got two people from Finland and they're always on about me flying into Helsinki. Unless it's like a, an old list we're talking about. Have they pulled it's, out? It's current. It's current stuff. Is um, it pulled out? Hmm. It's not on Wikipedia. Oh, wow. I'm just checking flight radar. Unless it's DHL, but it's under, a, you know, like when they're painted like Aerologic and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Interesting. Okay, I've, I've, seen I've seen it. I've seen it on flight radar. Hmm. There's one that came in. Yeah, my it? knowledge comes from flight radar as well. Yeah, there's actually one due in tomorrow morning from Leipzig. So I'll give you it. I will give you it. All right. Cheers. On flight radar, so that's fine. Um, so we carry on uh, with Rob. Um, we'll start with Turkish. We'll go with Turkish cargo. Turkish cargo because they also fly everywhere. Um. Lewis. Um Nordic Regional. Mm. Really? Nordic Regional Nora. I swear I've seen Nora there. They've got a best one of their main hubs. Nordic. Hold on. Nordic. Yeah, Nora. N O R R A. They're also known as. They're part. Oh, they called Nora Regional. Yeah, Nordic Regional Airlines. Nora. Is it part of Finnair? I think they are. Okay, fair enough. Uh, it's owned as a joint venture by Finnair and Danish Air Transport. You'd think they'll be part of no reason, wouldn't you? If it's not on there, it's not on there. Yeah, cool sign of cool sign of FinCom. Yeah, yeah. it's All not right. on the list. Fair enough. 
So this spices things up a little bit. As Lewis has eight points, uh, which takes him to there. Uh, so we carry on with Nabil. Uh, I've got Euro wings. Oh Jesus! Yeah, Euro wings on there. Uh, Rob. Um. <clears throat> FedEx. Correct. Uh, the bill. Okay, I've only got two left. I've got Sun Class. On the list, Rob. Um, I'll try another cargo UPS. Correct. The bill. Mm. Nick, is it Nick NYX? Correct. Very good. Uh, Rob? Well, Tui. Tui, correct. Uh, Nabil? No clue, but I'm going to sh shoot my shot. <laughs> Amazon Prime? Or the Prime Air, whatever it's called. Not Prime Air, but 10 points. Which means, well, for a full t uh, 12, uh, just need a correct answer. Brathens. Very good. Very good indeed. Let's bring everybody back. <clears throat> oh, hello. There you go. Full 12 points to Rob. Which has made things very interesting. So, um, as it stands, top two: Rob, fifty-one points; Lewis, fifty-one points. Uh, as we crack onto the second airport, which is Spice Amita Bar, Tenerife, Tenerife South. Tenor Reef South. <coughs> you don't, you've got the list in front of me, so that's fine. You can continue to brainstorm. As we go, I'm going to use the list I've got in front of me, but I'm going to go backwards this time. So it'll be Wayne, then Rob, then the Bill, then Ian, then Darren, then Lewis. So, Wayne, kick Jet us off. Jet 2. Jet 2. Jet 2 is correct. Rob? Uh, Air Baltic. Air Baltic is correct. Neville? Transavia. Transavia is there. Ian? Uh, easy Jet. Easy Jet, of course. Darren? Ryan Dare. Ryan Dare is there. Uh, Lewis. Tap. Tap is there. Wayne. Binta. Correct. Uh, Rob. Edelweiss. Correct. Nabil. Uh, I'm going to go with Eurowings. Correct. Ian. Um, Air France. Not there. No. Mm. Not there. Two points to Ian. Uh, we continue with Darren. Tui. Tui is there. Uh, Lewis. I'm going to say Tui Belgium. Tui Belgium is on the list. Uh, Wayne. Iceland Air. Is on the list. Uh, Rob. Uh, Royal Air Maroc. Very good. Uh, it is there. Uh, Nabil? Uh, I've got Iberia. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, Darren. Wine Dick Jazz Condor. <laughs> what you were saying then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, correct. Lewis. 
United. Yes, very good. Really? Uh, yeah, they're on the seasonal. Oh. Yes. Uh, Wayne. Air Baltic. Mm. See you there. I think we've had that. Yeah. We have had that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we, we did indeed. Yeah. So four points to Wayne. Uh, we carry on with Rob. Uh, to be fly Nordic. To be fly Nordic. Uh, the bill. Austria. Correct. Darren. Mm, with there. Correct. Lewis. Uh, to be Deutschland. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Uh, Rob. Uh, locks here. <sighs> Correct. The mill. Uh, got volity. Mm. Yeah, very good. Uh, Darren. Uh, what's, what's the. Uh... Well, out of bloody nowhere, I can't think what it's called. Now. Is it Sunwing, the one with the orange A330s? Sunwing. I'll go Sunwing. Sunwing. Yeah. I know who you're on about. It's not the name, though. No, I've got it wrong around. Yeah. So, six points to Darren. We crack on with Lewis. Um, sorry, Darren. Sun Class. Sun Class is the one. Um, Rob. Um, Erlingus. Mm. Very good. Nabil. I've got uh, play. Correct. Lewis. Um, BA. Correct. Rob. Uh, Lufthansa. Correct. The bill. Brussels. Oh, Correct. Oh. Lewis. Um, Neos. Correct. Uh, Rob. Uh, oh. oh, United. Had that one. I said that. We yeah. have had. Have we had United? Have we? Yeah, we've had oh, United. Yeah. So eight points. Mm -hmm. uh, so onwards we go. Uh, the bill. Okay, I've got smart links. Oh, no, I don't think it's called that. Who's called that? It's a different name. I know of Smart Links. It's a different airline. I know they lease planes to airlines. They don't fly them under their own name. And it's also not on the list. Mm -hmm. Um, unless VAR wants to uh, pop in, <laughs> for smart links, <laughs> it's not. It's not helpful. To know that they do in Estonia. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Sarah says, give it. We'll give it. Yeah, we'll give it. We'll crack on. So we'll give you we'll give you that one. Um Lewis. Uh Tui Netherlands, that's all I've got now. Tui Netherlands, uh, correct. Nabil. 
Uh, discover. Very good, Lewis. What? That's really um. Smart wings. Correct, Nabil. Uh, this I don't know how you pronounce this. Nam Namabu. The mob, yeah, it's something do. like that. Yeah, that'll do. I know, I know who you're on about. Yeah, uh, that's on the list, Lewis. I've got nothing else. Uh, um, Tap Express. <laughs> Ten points to Lewis. So for full 12, Nabil, just need a correct answer. I think someone's already called it, but I'm, I probably wasn't paying attention. Jet 2? Jet 2 was mentioned, but okay, that's fine. Yeah, so still 10 points. I, 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 I just forgot to cross it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. 10 points still. Which is... Just out of interest there, Tom, was there any left over? Because I'll run out. Yeah, there was some left over. Um, you could have had Norwegian. Oh. So we Norwegian, no? Yeah, Norwegian. Do we have Norwegian? Oh, uh, yeah, I crossed it off my list. Okay, I'll read out the full list of what's here. So we've got Aer Lingus, Air Baltic, Austrian, Binter, British Airways, Brussels, Cor uh, sorry, Cor Cor Condor, Corandon, uh, Discover, EasyJet, Edelweiss, Eurowings, Finnair, Iberia, Iberia Express, Iceland Air, Jet2, Lufthansa, yeah. Luxair, Marabou, Neos, Norwegian, Play, Royal Emirac, Ryanair, Scandinavian, uh, oh, Smart Wing, Sun Class, Sun Dare. Uh, is Iberia and Iberia Express separate things? Because I had yeah. Iberia Express, but I called it Iberia. They, they're down as separate things. Two different ones. Yeah. Uh, all the TUI franchise, um, United, Volate, Vuling, and Wizzair. So there weren't too many left over. Ooh. But there was. Which makes the mixed final, uh, the final round interesting because hmm. Rob's on fifty nine, Lewis sixty one. Oh. As we go into the final round, which is Zagreb is not Las Damn. Vegas. What's this? Uh, oh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. Yeah. Let's go into the final round. Mm -hmm. We'll kick things off, continue to brainstorm. And we'll go for the way we've just done. So, Wayne, over to you. Virgin. Who? Virgin. Virgin. Yes, correct. Rob. Jana. Who? Janet Yellings. Oh, Janet. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Um, Neville. Southwest. Southwest. Uh, Ian. Uh, United. <clears throat> uh, yep, United is there. Darren? Uh, best of the bunch, Delta. Yes, Delta is there. Uh, Lewis? Spirit. Evil Spirits. Wayne? Delta. <laughs> Literally, you just called that. Who said Delta? Dar Darren said Delta. Just said Delta. Um, I didn't catch it. Yeah, Darren did say Delta. Yeah. Two points. <laughs> Poor old Wayne. Poor Wayne. Two points. We carry on. Um, Rob. Alaska. <clears throat> Uh, correct, Nabil. 
uh, Frontier. <clears throat> uh, correct, Ian. Turkish. Just okay. <laughs> <laughs> take a guess. Because they fly everywhere. They Except do. for Vegas. Except <laughs> yeah, for Vegas. But, but... <laughs> really? Yeah. It really is, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> oh. No, the one place they don't fly to. <laughs> the one time you think it was a sure, safe thing. It is not. Four points to Ian. Uh, we carry on. Uh, Darren. British Airways. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is there. Lewis. Breeze. Correct. Uh, Rob. Uh, Delta Connection. Delta oh. Connection. Um, the bill. Uh, Ellie Giant. Ellie Giant. How the flip you say that name? I know. Yeah, I know who you're on Allegiant, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allegiant. I just Allegiant. It. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. I know who you're on about. Uh, yeah, that's there. Uh, Darren. American Airlines. Uh, yep, it's there. Lewis. <coughs> American Eagle. Correct. Uh, Rob. Uh, Air Canada. Correct. Uh, Neville. Uh, Jet Blue. Jet Blue. Um, Darren. WestJet. Was that? WestJet. Oh. Yep, that's there. Lewis. Um, Discover. Correct. Uh, Rob. Uh, Hawaiian. Correct. The bill. I've got uh, Volaris. Volaris, Volaris. Very good. Correct. Um, Darren. Oh, Mexico. Correct. Uh, Lewis. Uh, Porter Airlines. Correct. Uh, Rob. Uh, Norse. Correct. Um, Nabil. Avilo. Correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, Darren. Rondor, maybe? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, Lewis. Um, Air Canada Rogue. Rouge. Yes, Rouge. <laughs> oh, yeah, Rouge. Oh, well, yeah, I'll call it Rouge. <laughs> uh, yes, that's there. Uh, Rob. Go back to Switzerland and we'll have another go at Edelweiss. Oh, very good. Yeah, very good. Uh, Nabil. Uh, Viva. Which one? Viva. Correct. Um, <laughs> Darren. Neos, maybe? Maybe not. Mm. Not Neos. Oh, anyway. No. Not Neos. Okay. Uh, so six points to Darren. Uh, we continue with Lewis. Korean Air. Korean Air. Uh, Rob. Uh, UPS. Correct. The bill. Breeze. Said that. We have. Have we? Yeah, we have had breeze. Okay. So uh, eight points. Now this is where it gets interesting. Uh, so eight points. Four. So battle of the top two. Who's going to flinch first? Uh, we go to Lewis. Um, I'm going to say FedEx. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Rob. Um, there's two I can hang out here, right? Here in Mexico. Had that. Uh, oh, Rob. Hmm. There's two as a what's the Colombian Airlines Avianca in there? Which one? Avianca. No, I don't think there is, is there? Because that was the two I had in mind, either Air of Mexico or Avianca. That was the two I had left. Uh, 
Is that Bianca in there? Be Damn. I can no. neither confirm or deny because it's another suggestion. Right. However, <laughs> and still, uh, Quizness Jet Champion Lewis Ooh. just need a correct answer. Uh, Flair. Very well done. Full oh, oh. points to oh. you. And still the quiz this gets champion. Very well oh. done, from Lewis. Uh, here is number four. Congratulations, Lewis. Well done. Yeah. Well, that went well. Yeah. Well done. Here's Oops. number four. That was close. Hmm. Last place. Uh, with a respectable 20 is Ian. Nice one. Still more than Jack. <laughs> <laughs> In fifth place, 39 is Wayne. Not yet. The bill was like, wait. What <laughs> <laughs> was me? I had a disastrous last round. Uh, fourth place is Nabil with 44. So well done to you. Third place, 46, is Darren. Uh, second place, the bride to the quiz. Uh, <laughs> it's that, that Concord moment again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rob Brown, 69. Uh, and our winner by four is Lewis. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. <laughs> so, I mean, the mods are getting a pair rise now. Lewis. No. Damn. <laughs> Did you get paid? No. You may fuck. This takes a broad bar over this wallet. <laughs> well done, everybody. Okay, so uh, anyone that needs to leave right now, they can. I think that's in the building. Oh, the only one that can leave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. No I'll problem at all. See you in the building. See you in the building. See you in the screen while he leaves uh, otherwise the rest of us we're going to do some very quick shout outs and then we'll leave ourselves um so we'll go for let's go darren first because he's there mm -hmm. uh can do some shout outs um yeah just thank you for the, thank you for tonight it's most enjoyable um i can't seem to win for toffee because old lewis is uh, shit hot so uh, invite me back when you do away with the um, eBay round, then I might do a bit better. <laughs> that seems to be a firm favourite, so I doubt that's going to happen. I can neither confirm or deny. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks anyway, Tom. It's been good. Enjoyed it. No problem at all. Uh, Ian? Um, yeah, just well done, Lewis, again. Um, right. Nice one to everybody else as well for an entertaining quiz. I I'm just not with it at all tonight. Me head, I'm, I'm just full of a cold and I'm absolutely shattered. But I can still walk away holding my head up high knowing that I got more points than Jack. So I'll take that. <laughs> and thanks to everybody who's been watching. Because you got more points than him because he didn't turn up. Oh. Well, it's still a, a win's a win, Tom. <laughs> it's, uh, it's interesting, though, because he is in the chat. And I did say to him, you can come and play either way. Oh. But uh, he is in the chat. But uh, yes, there you go. It's the first one that he has missed. Uh, since its inception. Uh, Wayne, over to you. Well, thanks everybody again for watching us and joining us. I will see you throughout the week for more Sim Fun and, uh, and the new Sim coming to the channel this week. So watch out, guys. Um, mm -hmm. We will see more tomorrow, potentially. I'd say so. Yep. Um, I'm mm -hmm. tomorrow, guys. And then we've got a new Sim coming on Wednesday. So keep uh, pin for that. Happy days. Very quick hello to Alison, who's in the chat. Who has joined us now? Oh, uh, yeah, right, oh, so. dang, I missed it. It's all right. It's all oh, good. Yeah. But I hope you are doing well. Uh, Rob, over to you. Well, through gritted teeth again. Uh, yeah. Well done, <laughs> well done <laughs> Lewis, mate. Well done. Uh, again. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I think that brings me dressed up to it. <laughs> uh, Tom, just a big thanks again, mate, for having us on. Much appreciated. And uh, just everybody in the chat, thanks again for supporting. Uh, a good laugh we had tonight, so all the best trips. Nice. Lewis, over to you. Uh, yeah, thank you, Tom, for another great quiz. Um, thank you to everyone joining in, 
like uh, very close this time, uh, <coughs> very very close. So, uh, but yeah, really good game, and uh, yeah, see you all uh, in the next few shows. Happy days. Very quick one as well for Alison. Uh, sorry, I'm up at EMA for the first DHL day tomorrow. Triple seven here. I come. Ooh. Best of luck. Hope it goes well. Good luck, Alison. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Alison. Yes. Yeah, that was one. Looking forward to catching up with you about that one. Very quick uh, for me. Uh, thank you to Darren, to Ian, to Wayne, to Rob, and to Lewis for taking, and of course, Nabil. Not so much Jack because he didn't uh, bother turning up, but. Uh, for, for turning up uh, basically uh, and taking part in the quiz if you want to do the next one uh, Lewis for your calendar um, what is May? Uh, 12th of May 12th of May 12th of May yeah should be good um, otherwise um, thank you to those that have been watching uh, as well and playing along as well uh, as Wayne said, he's back tomorrow with some more bus crashing fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, more and, textures. Yeah, textures. Uh, and uh, yeah, new, new sim to come during the week as well. So exciting times. I'm still trying to download the flight sim, so that's going to come back at some point. So it'll be quiet for me this week. So it's just literally uh, Wayne this week. Otherwise, we'll say our goodbyes. So in the most cheesy way possible. Wave to the camera, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful start to Bye. tomorrow. Bye. <clears throat>